Hello again everyone, Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song Tired of Being Alone by Al Green. This is part of my ongoing series where I'm listening to songs that come from albums that are on Rolling Stone Magazine's list of the 500 greatest albums of all time. The way the series works is I'll do reaction videos for two, maybe three songs off of each album, and then eventually I'll go and listen to the rest of the album just on my own, and I'll come back and let you know what I thought. So uh, this particular song comes from this album, well, Al Green's Greatest Hits, which is number 456 on the list. Um, and I gotta say, uh, you know, still very much opposed to putting Greatest Hits albums on a top 500 albums of all times time list. I, I think, honestly, what, what probably happened was the people at Rolling Stone magazine wanted to put Al Green somewhere on, uh, you know, the list, and unfortunately couldn't pick one particular album, so they put a Greatest Hits album on here, which I think is totally unfair to the artist, because, it, it, again, it is a top 500 albums of all time, and I feel like it should be a standalone album, because otherwise, what's the point? I mean, I, I can guarantee you Michael Jackson shows up on this list multiple times, Marvin Gaye probably shows up multiple times, the Beatles show up multiple times, uh, when you could have just put a single, you know, uh, greatest hits album for them and then uh, added more artists to the list. I mean, uh, again, I'm opposed to them putting greatest hits on this list, but it is what it is and we're still going to listen to it. So <clears throat> about the album, Rolling Stone says, in Memphis, you just do as you feel. Al Green told Rolling Stone in 1972, it's not a modern up to par, very glamorous, glamorous big red chairs and carpet that thick studio it's one of those places you can go into and stomp out a good soul jam in collaboration with producer willie mitchell and musicians like drummer al jackson jr green was a natural album artist making love and paying classics such as 1973's call me but this collection makes for a unified album in itself compiling hits like let's stay together i'm still in love with you and tired of being alone into a flawless 10 song suite so yeah it's hard to beat a good you know <laughs> greatest hits album so anyway let's jump into it we're listening to tired of being alone here we go
wow, short and sweet. And actually, that's my only complaint. I wish it was longer. <laughs> that especially that last part there, uh, when it really kicks in, like this last few seconds. Going all in one moment, him really like letting it all hang out, you know, vocally, um, the backup singers, everything, I think uh, was fantastic there at the end. I wish they would have kind of kept that going a little bit longer there, but regardless, it's still a very, very good song. So let's break it down piece by piece like we always do, of course, starting with the lyrics. So it does say here, I do want to read this part, it says, Tired of Being Alone was written by Al Green and produced by Willie Mitchell at high records in memphis tennessee it was released in 1971 it reached number 11 on the billboard hot 100 and was named as one of rolling stone rolling stone's 500 greatest songs of all time i can see why super super catchy let's see what have the artists said about the song green insisted that his producer willie mitchell will record the song despite his mitchell's objections uh i was toting my song around in my pocket for days on end saying hey i got a song finally at the end of the session i said well, I still got a song. Okay, interesting. Uh, all right, so let's look at those lyrics. Sweet baby, I'm so tired of being alone. So tired of being uh, so tired of on my own. Won't you help me, girl, just as soon as you can? People say that I found a way to make you say that you love me. Hey, baby, you didn't you didn't go for that. It's a natural fact that I want to come back. Show me where it's at, baby. Uh, I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of on my own. Won't you help me grow as soon as you can? So I mean, yeah, I think it, I think it's it's pretty straightforward. I think in the in the meaning that you know, just tired of being on his own, just ready to settle down, kind of you know find a partner, that kind of thing. Uh, I guess you know that I uh, I love you so, even though you don't want me no more. Mm, so it's that thing too, where he loves her, she doesn't love him back, <laughs> uh, or at least she maybe used to love him and doesn't love him anymore. Right? Don't want me no more. Hey, 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 I'm crying tears all through the years. I'll tell you like it is. Honey, love me if you will. Yeah, baby, tired of being alone here by myself. Now I'll tell you I'm tired, baby. I'm tired of being all wrapped up late at night in my dreams. Nobody but you, baby. Sometimes I wonder if you st if you love me like you say you do. You see, baby, I've been thinking about it. Yeah, I've been, I've been wanting to wanting to get next to you, baby. You see, sometimes I hold my arms and say, mm, mm. Yeah, baby, meeting you has proven to be, uh, to me, to be my greatest dream. And so I wonder, like, because here it talks about how I'm tired of being wrapped up late at night in my dreams, you know, tired of being alone, that sort of thing. But then he says, uh, where was it? Sometimes I wonder if you still love me like you say you do. So I wonder if he is in a relationship but feels alone because that love it either isn't reciprocated or or he can maybe tell that she's sort of losing interest in him you know the, the feelings aren't fully there anymore um and that i feel like that would make sense with the um where he said even though you don't want me no more i wonder if that's sort of this feeling again that she's not fully invested in the relationship but the relationship is still happening so he's alone while he's in a relationship uh, let's see, tired baby, yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about, sometimes late at night I get to wonder about you baby, uh, I'm so tired of being alone, tired of being alone, tired of being alone, yeah, I think lyrically it was, it was again, it was a short, short song, but I think it, it packs a good punch lyrically, I think, you know, parts of it are like, oh yeah, he's just single, you know, looking for someone, but then as you read kind of deeper into it, it's like, okay, maybe he had someone and, you know, they broke up, they're no longer together, but then if you really, really want to look into it a certain way, you could say like, not only that, but he's in a relationship and it's not working out. Like the relationship is failing. And so again, he's alone while still being in a relationship, which I think is probably the most tragic of the three scenarios. And so, yeah, you know, lyrically, I think there's a few ways you can take it, but overall, I'll give it a thumb up. Uh, give it two thumbs up lyrically, actually. That was pretty good. Um, as far as the instrumentation of vocals go, obviously he's got a great voice, you know, and I don't think I've heard much from Al Green before. Like, uh, I recognize the name, right? I think he was he was huge when it came to you know just being a, a music musician, music star. Um, but I can't say I've really heard anything from him. Like I didn't I didn't recognize this song at all. And so I mean he's got he's got a great voice. Um, and then I think the back the backup vocals also 
did a lot for me in this song you know when he wasn't singing the backup vocals would come in and then again at the very end of the song where it was all kind of going together it sounded really great and then the brass i think again once he stopped singing you got the brass to come in for a minute uh and then he would keep singing right but then at the very end you got again the lead vocals the backup vocals the brass all come together uh and that was my one complaint was i wish that last part was a little bit longer because when they were all you know firing on all cylinders it sounded fantastic so kind of wish we got a little bit more of that uh, but overall, still a very, very good song, very well made, uh, again, very well performed and produced. So I'm still going to give it two big thumbs up uh, instrumentally and vocally. As far as replay value goes, you know, it's a little bit different than what I normally listen to, but a fantastic song and very easy to listen to, uh, very easy to sing along to. You know, the chorus, uh, I think, is is a pretty decent, uh, you know, very sing singable chorus. And so, um, and just overall, a, a fun song, uh, even though it is about, you know, maybe not being in the happiest of relationships. So, I, you know, I think it makes a playlist do I listen to all the time? Probably not, because again, just a little bit different than what I normally listen to. It's kind of what really, you know, I listen to in my day to day listening, but still a very good song. Gonna give it a thumb up for replay value. Overall, a fantastic song and another great entry uh, in this series, if I do say so myself. I may be, you know, opposed to putting greatest hits albums on. Uh, you know, a top 500 album list, but I gotta say, a lot of good music comes from those greatest hits albums, so I'm not complaining too much. But um, anyway. If you enjoyed uh, the video and you enjoyed the music, go support the artists, go listen to their music wherever you can. I'm not sure if Al Green's still around. My guess is no, just because yeah, this is a long time ago, but uh, you know, I'm sure if, if he is, he'll, he'll appreciate the support. Um, and then, you know, if you enjoy what you saw here today, consider supporting the channel by liking, subscribing, commenting with your requests, because I'm always taking those, uh, you know, and just doing all the normal stuff you do on YouTube. You can also check the description, by the way, if you'd like to follow me on Twitch, TikTok, or Instagram. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.